In case you missed it last night, the U.S. government is making a major change to chicken. As we told you in a KVU Defenders investigation, for the first time, the USDA has agreed to allow chicken that had been raised and slaughtered in the U.S. to be shipped to China to be processed, then shipped back for us to eat. With us today to expand on this topic, registered dietitian Deirdre Earls. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Yvonne. So this chicken change is alarming. So explain why this is a potential problem. Well, first, we don't have the control over our food supply. Once it's shipped to China, China does not have the same regulatory agencies that we do over food supply. So that, and then secondly, it's another level of processing that many say is inevitable with the growing human population explosion all over the world. This isn't new to the United States. Mm -hmm. In Europe, they're growing meat in Petri dishes. It's, yeah. it's gross. Yeah. But how do we know what's making it into our food supply? I think that's what raises so many eyebrows. Of course, and it should. Um, the only way to know what's in your food supply, unfortunately, now in the United States, is to pretty much buy locally, buy from people you know, go to farms that you know. That's the only, really, that's the only real way to know. You can even buy organic. And if it's made in China, that means that the different organic regulatory agencies in China, which are not the same here, mm -hmm. that introduces unknowns. And with this chicken change, I think I know the answer to this, but what's the mm -hmm. motivation behind this? Well, first, of course, it's money. And you know that it must, it, so, since they are shipping things all the way to China and then shipping them back, mm -hmm. you can imagine, um, you know, what it's shaving off of each piece of chicken. Um, it's big, big, big money. But secondly, again, many scientists say that this level of engineering, this type of overall around the world engineering that's growing on, going on with the food supply is inevitable with the exploding human population explosion. This is the mm -hmm. first time in human history that humans will consume more farm-raised fish than wild-caught fish because there are not enough fish in the ocean. It's supply to and supply, demand. Mm -hmm. It's supply and demand. Well, when you yes. think about chicken nuggets, that's what a lot of kids eat at school. You yeah. know, they, they enjoy eating it at right. home as well. So right. I'm thinking, what about school lunches? How are you yeah. going to make sure that your kids aren't eating you, these chicken nuggets? You have to, if you want to make sure, the only way to make sure is that you, you, you get to know your food supply, mm -hmm. which means you go buy locally, or you, and then you make your own food. And that's, that's really the only way yeah. to know. Because that's, that's how we, we have a dog in this fight. We can fight this by yes. just becoming buying more locally. informed, buying locally. Go to your farmer's markets. Get to know your farmers. Go to the farm. Lots of these farms mm -hmm. and, and places that raise their own wildlife and, and livestock, they mm -hmm. allow people to come and see how they raise their animals, what they're feeding their animals, how yeah. those animals get treated. Before we go, what was your reaction when you heard about this chicken change? And it's just one more thing this is nothing new it's a worldwide movement it's yeah. not even new to the United States yeah so it's just a level another level of shaving money off for mm -hmm. profit because unfortunately really Americans as long as it tastes a certain way and you keep the price the same Americans don't really care yeah and that's what drives that market yeah. to do so so a way to avoid it and really get away it's from it care. is not only buy locally <laughs> but you can also what's now known with a mountain of empirical evidence to bypass this whole thing with chicken is you eat more and more of a plant-based diet mm -hmm. and by eating more and more plants and less and less animals you not only optimize your health, you reduce your health, your mm -hmm. food cost, your health care cost, and it also consumes far less water to eat a plant-based meal than it does to eat a meal based around animals. Good advice, Deirdre. Yeah. Thank you so much for Thank joining you us. We very appreciate much for having your, your me, taking your expertise. Brian, over to you.